Hi. How y'all doing? Uh, conkers. <laughs> Oddly, uh, therapeutic. Bit of a random one today. Couldn't seem to get out the gate. Try to do as much as I could to be useful. I've been dead weight all day. Family had to carry me until around 11, which is when I somehow managed to pull my ass out of bed. <laughs> I was uh, permitted to lay in by the family. Helped with all the housework. Went shopping with me mum. Helped her get some bits. <laughs> She had to put together a bed frame, but it didn't come with any fittings. How is that? <laughs> you, you buy, you buy something. It's like it's like going to IKEA and like, well, let's be fair, it's IKEA. If you go to IKEA, you don't get half the bits anyway. But like, you buy a cabinet and it doesn't come with doors or screws or anything. I don't know. <laughs> That's the kind of groove uh, my mum had today. So we uh, we end up going uh, shopping to get some little bits and bobs, and uh, she wanted to do that. And then my baby boys, well, they went to nanny's too. So, me and the wife have been able to sit down and watch a bit of Edge Runners. We're only about four episodes in, but so far it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Now, my wife hasn't played Cyberpunk. She hasn't uh, read Cyberpunk, like any of, the, any of the modules or anything. She's just not in any of that kind of groove. She was like, oh, yeah, I kind of wanted to watch that. I was like, okay, cool. Well, no, the kids aren't here. Yeah, why not? Because I said the, the first episode's pretty brutal because there's an opening scene where literally people just start getting cut to pieces and blown apart. So not something you should be watching in front of kids if you can help it. But since the boys went, hey, we, we put it on. She was like, wow, I see what you mean. It's been interesting. The story's very much cyberpunk, very much in Pondsmith's world. Looks pretty nice for what it is. I like the way that they've uh, set up all the kind of ripper docks to get people crimed up and, and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's neat. All the, it's like seeing Night City from a different world. I did always say I was a bit worried about Cyberpunk getting any expansions with more story, with more characters. Because, as I said previously, Pondsmith had created the cyberpunk world and a bunch of the character and a, a bunch of the characters and a bunch of the lore back in the 80s and i was like what's he gonna do with any of the new stuff however in really my argument about maybe him stretching thin it's a bit of a moot point isn't it because he designed a tabletop rpg where you role play the idea being that he has laid out all of the formula, all the stats, all the schematics, everything you need to build your own characters and worlds and clans and gangs and all that within Night City, within the Cyberpunk universe. So, anyone that's willing to roleplay a bit could come up with their own story. So the idea, you know, people are just going, yep, here's some characters I've thought of, let's turn that into a series. <laughs> uh, I just, yeah, I just, I just liked the way they wrapped up the cyberpunk game. I liked the way that it kind of wrapped up upon Smith's law. So I did, I don't, I still don't really like the idea of any kind of expansions. But if it was somewhere else, someone else, maybe, because the series has been all right. That's what I'm actually now about to to go and do is go and sit and watch a bit more of it. I'm having a lazy day. I'm taking a day off. I'm trying to be useful. I don't really think I'm doing a particularly good job of it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got anything for today. This is it. I wouldn't necessarily say the day is a failure, but things just haven't felt quite, you know? Really feels like I need a good recharge. I really need coffee and sugar. I've had good food today, but oh, get this month over with. And then I can have my celebratory bottle of uh, Iron Brew Classic that my mum got me today. <laughs>
as a, as a treat. <laughs> I'm going to stop making people wait. <laughs> I'm going to go and go and finish watching the show. <laughs> that is uh, that is very, very cyberpunk. Very Pond Smith's cyberpunk. No questions asked. Lots of flash. Lots of flair. Night City, balls deep, blaze of glory, all the way. No spoilers. You have to watch it though. Even if you haven't played Cyberpunk, you could probably get away with watching that show and get the gist, you will get the gist of how Night City works. So, yeah, that was, that was good. That was pretty good. It's only 10 episodes, but damn those 10 episodes. And one of the key points of the whole thing is uh, cyberpsychosis. They dig very deeply into um, augmentation and cyberpsychosis uh, in, in the show. Uh, really glad they kind of picked up on that because in the game, at least, or in the, uh, 2077, you can uh, chrome up as much as you want and it has no effect on your character or how your character is perceived around the world, uh, even though there are many things in the game that will tell you, hey, yo, once people get crimed up so far, once they get augmented so far, the head starts to go a bit because they can't handle all of that extra stuff going on. They, they cover that in the, in the show. It was neat, very neat. Pondsmith has given a nice framework with the pen and paper RPG to realistically... Let's be fair, anyone can make anything they want because Cyberpunk 2077 just wrapped up a few of his nice little modules. As a, as a pen and paper RPG, you can write about anything, anywhere, anytime because all of the stats are there. So I'm curious what they're going to do next. But again, without spoilers, um, music was... Hmm, uh, the presentation was pretty solid. Voice actors, pretty solid. Some of it, though, even when it is a lot of flash, you're thinking to yourself, this is going on a bit long, but still over the top. You know, it's, 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 it, is, it is solid. It's, it's pretty solid. I thought today was going to be a bit of a burner. But um, I'd say that was time well spent. That was that was pretty fucking fun. That was neat. I'm I'm glad we sat down and we watched uh, Cyberpunk Edge Runners. It was it was neat. That was fucking cool. Got Cyberpunk installed on my Steam Deck again, so I'm probably gonna rock my way through that again. I want to do a female V playthrough, and I get to see what the 1.6 patch is like. The one that ties in with the uh, with the uh, series. I don't think they added any extra story, but they've uh, they've uh, you know as the, they've named the patch the same as the series. It's an advertising thing, but uh, that, that was uh, that was sound. That was solid. That was cool. That was fucking groovy. Blaze of glory, or do you just you know live a normal life and fade into the background? And <laughs> that was uh, that was good. I thought it was good. I, you know, there's going to be a lot of people out there that don't like it, but uh, there are things you can pick out on it. But it was it was all right for what it was. It was pretty good. That was that was pretty good. <sighs> Brightened up my day. <laughs> I mean, I would just chill out with the wife and, and watch some telly. But I'm now going to head off to crash out. <laughs> Far too much excitement in one night for this old man. So. Uh, yeah, hope you're well. Check out the series, check out the game. And if you've got the game on PC, check out the tabletop because you've got a free copy of the, the, the base game in your, in your downloads directory for the, for the game. I'll see you all with a bit of luck in the next one.